Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to implement insertion sort in MATLAB. So we will take a vector of random numbers for our uh, test case or our example and we will write an insertion sort uh, function, MATLAB function, which is sort this uh, random numbers in increasing order and returns this kind of output. This image I have taken from Wikipedia. So if you go to Wikipedia, it very nicely shows how this insertion sort works. The algorithm is explained here. So basically what, what happens in insertion sort is it takes the number one by one and insert, its, insert it at the right position wherever it's, uh, it has to be placed. And that's how it completes this uh, particular algorithm. So you can go to this Wikipedia page uh, if, for details. I'll move to the MATLAB now and try to implement this insertion sort. So first I will create a MATLAB function. Name, is a, name it as insertion sort. I don't need two inputs because my input will be only one which will be x. And I will have only one output so I don't need two outputs as well. Why? And over here I won't use the recursive method as I have used for my other sort algorithms. I will use only simple uh, loop iterations within this uh, uh, MATLAB function. So I will save it as insertion sort dot m file. Okay, fine. And now let's start. So first we do if we uh, first let me take the length of this input uh, variable which is x. And once we have this length, then what we can do is we will iterate it for i equal to so we'll iterate it through the all the arrays of x but please note we will not use the first element because first is anyway uh, uh, if, if it's just one it, it will anyway taken care by yeah we'll start with from the second element because if you so go back to this image once you have the second you start with the second one uh, and sort sort uh, start the algorithm okay so once you have this then we have to have another <coughs> index, uh, another loop which will start from the n minus 1, I mean the ith term, and go till the first one. So we will have j equal to something like i minus 1. So for the first case, it will of course be j equal to 1 and uh, it will go just for one time, but for uh, if <coughs> For greater than equal uh, two, so it will go for that many times. Say for example, if i is equal to ten, so j will go for nine, and it will go for nine times. I'll show you. I will do the uh, while loop, then probably you'll understand more. And we have to find an index, index where that number has to be placed. So initially we start with i because that's the position we have picked uh, of the number, and then in the while loop we compare or we do the loop until the j is greater than equal to 1. So, so that means that we will iterate through the x uh, from the nth element to the first element. We are doing it in the reverse order. So we will do the j minus 1 later on in this loop also. So if say for example x of index which is the number we are comparing if that is less than x of j the number to which right now my this loop is if this is true then probably that means that we have to swap so just for reference I'll put a comment so that means we have to swap so for swapping I'll use a simple swap uh, algorithm I'll not go for any fancy one I'll just use x of j uh, like this and then <coughs> x of j will be equal to x of index And x of index will be back equal to temp. And also, please note, we will have to change the index also because we will have to know the current position where we have uh, moved our uh, that um, number which has to be swapped. So once we have it and we put the end over here, 
so what we can do is before we proceed we have to also make sure that we are decreasing the uh, j minus 1 and before we close the while loop yes and we close the for loop and at the end <coughs> this so this will update my x so we have to just make sure that y equal to x we are assigning output value over here yeah so I think more or less my my program looks okay let's run it and see if so I I initialize the initial values of v over here so as the it's the same as the example which I have shown you in the word file now we will try to call our uh, function which we have written on top and we'll see if this happens or not yeah so if you see this this uh, gets sorted uh, this random numbers gets sorted over here let's take some other example let's take an example of u equal to probably yeah so I am taking here u equal to it's a mixture of negatives, positives, decimal numbers, integers, e less and I have also used pi which gets resolved to this. So my u is a mixture of all kinds of numbers. Let's see how does our algorithm works on uh, this one. So if I go for insertion sort of u. Perfect. So you can see it gets uh, all negatives, positive, if any kind of numbers gets sorted in the increasing order. If you want, we can just quickly debug also and see. So I have put a breakpoint and if I start, it comes here. So right now my n is equal to 9, which is the length of this uh, array u, my input. And then I can do a step, a step, a step, a step. So I get i index value and all those things values. So if, if you need to understand this algorithm, you, you can do the debugging again and again and you'll probably understand how, how it is working yeah so yeah that's all so it seems to be working perfectly fine this algorithm I hope it was useful this video was useful for you please do watch my other videos in this playlist for uh, if you are interested to know more about various sorting algorithms in uh, MATLAB and if you liked my video please subscribe to my channel Thank you watch thank you for watching and have a nice day bye